Today, we're making the juiciest cast iron T-bone steaks in nine minutes. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 450 degrees. We're gonna heat up our cast iron skillet. We don't need to go much over medium, maybe medium high, just a little bit. And we're gonna take our T-bone steak and we're gonna put some trauma hogs SPG on this on both sides. Now what you need to do in order to cook the juiciest T-bone steak is be sure and get your T-bone out about 45 minutes before you're ready to cook. Let it come to room temperature. Be sure and put your salt and seasoning or whatever, in this case SPG. We're gonna put it on both sides and let it soak in for 45 minutes. And then we're gonna cook the juiciest T-bone steak in nine minutes in a cast iron skillet. So we'll be back here in just a minute. We're gonna go ahead and get this SPG put on this T-bone and we'll be back shortly. Okay, well, we've let our T-bone set and marinate with this SPG from Trauma Hogs Barbecue. It's a local joint down in Jonesboro, Arkansas. We really love it. He's got a great mixture here for salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. But anyway, we've got our T-bone that has been uh, uh, covered with this SPG. We've got our skillet hot. It's about a medium to medium high heat. We didn't add any oil to it. This is a uh, skillet that is maintained uh, with seasoning. And so we're just gonna take and add our T-bone to that. I've got my oven preheated to 450 degrees. So we're gonna lay that in there. Listen to that sizzle. And man, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a foolproof way to cook the perfect T-bone steak and that is to sear it in a cast iron skillet and then finish it in the oven. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna let this thing uh, set in here for two minutes on each side. So we'll start our timer for two minutes. Okay, well the timer's going off. So let's get this out and see what it looks like here. Take our Insta Read. All right, that thing's reading 144, 145. So, the only thing I'm going to do now is add another pad of butter to this while this thing's resting for a minute. And then we're going to get it off on our plate. Let it rest for about five or 10 minutes or so. Let this butter melt down. We're going to pour this on this. So there, folks, is one of the juiciest T-bone steaks you're ever going to have.